Hi, Brendan. Hi, Kat. So I want to learn about test mode. You got it. On the Odea. You got it. Okay, so why? what is test mode? Test mode is just a, a mode that's kind of written into the software on your machine mm -hmm. um, that is used for service centers. Okay. Um, you know, it really, you know, it's not going to be on any semi-automatics or anything like that. It's more on all the supers. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of just go through all the functionality of your machine without having to worry about any of the alarms or anything like that. So like, let's say your, your grinder is not working. Okay. Like it's not working like just when you hit grind in mm -hmm. your normal mode. You could go into test mode and go select grinder and, and have your grinder operate really quick just to ensure that it actually is working. Okay. So essentially if, if you go into test mode and your grinder's not working, your grinder's shot. <laughs> um, but, okay. You know, and if, but if you know, there's a lot of situations where your grinder won't be working um, just, you know, just in normal mode trying to make some espresso. Um, but then you go into test mode and you're like, oh, it actually does work. And, you know, sometimes it can be another issue that you can then determine by going into test mode. So, like, maybe your your sensor for your magnet has failed. Okay. So, like, you know, your, your machine's actually not recognizing this. But instead of you knowing that it's actually the sensor that has a problem, um, you think that it's your grinder motor has just failed. So it's a good way to determine what exactly is wrong with your machine. And, you know, it, it, it goes through all the functionality. Okay, so um, you're going to show me how to get into the um, Odea Giro. Is this the same method for the Odea Go as well, how you get into test mode? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Um, so essentially, to get into test mode on your Odea Giro, it's very simple. You just hold down the water button, and sometimes, depending on the version of your Go, this will be a steam button. Okay. But whatever this button is, this is what you want to hold down before you hit power. So the button on the right side of the brew head. Exactly. Regardless of how it's labeled. Exactly. Okay. It could be steam or water, either or you want that one. Okay, so you're, ho you're holding that down while you turn on the machine? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So I'm holding down water, I'm going to hit power, and then when I do that, these lights are going to go, what is it? Clockwise, I okay. believe. And clockwise, and then you know you're in test mode. So it's going to be lighting up a lot differently to let the user know you're going into test mode. So here we go. I'm still holding it down just to know for sure. And there we go. Looks like it's counterclockwise. I was wrong. So I'm going to let go. And now we are in test mode. There's nothing really here to let you know, but you'll know as soon as you start pressing buttons. Okay. So essentially, you have mm -hmm. six functions that you can test in test mode. Mm hmm. Um, and you can go into each of those functions separately by, that's, that's the first section, here's the second section, and each one of these is doing two functions, and then that's the third. Mm -hmm. And we just start over here, and when I press this, let's see what happens. That's my brew unit moving. So essentially right now what's happening is we just found out that our brew unit can go from home position into work position just fine, that our brew unit w motor is working fine, mm -hmm. um, and we don't have to worry about anything with the brew unit. Okay. Now, I just know off the top of my head from testing these machines that to get the brew unit motor back into home, which mm -hmm. is really where we really want it, we're going to go right here and hold down water. And now it's going back into home position, which for the record is the only position it can be in if you want to take your brew unit out. Okay. So. Let's go back to the first one. So we just tested our brew unit motor and our brew unit entirely. There's nothing wrong there. We know it's working great. Mm -hmm. We can come back here. Let's hit this button. This is the other button to, you know, control functionality in test mode. And that's our pump. So right now, we know our pump works. Okay. But since we're in test mode, it's not going to come out the, the dispenser because the brew unit's in home position. Mm -hmm. It's not going to come out the steam valve because I currently have it closed. Mm -hmm. So, let's open it. And there's a little bit of pressure that I just got in there by hitting the pump while all circuits were closed. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to hit pump again. And look at that. There you go. Now, there's something else that's really cool in test mode. Right here, the thermostat light is actually showing you the revolutions for your flow meter. Oh wow! Hold so on, let me. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going to do it again here. And that there's a there's a turbine in your flow meter with a magnet, mm -hmm. and it's and it's hitting a transistor every time. So when I do this, it's actually showing you each revolution. And as you can see, that you know the lighting flickering is very consistent. Sometimes in test mode, you can see that uh, 
you can see that, you know, maybe it will, it will be flickering and then stop and flickering and then stop. You might want to get in there and try to clean your flow meter out. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, this, this is looking really ideal, as it should, because it's just been refurbished. Okay. It looks like everything's testing out. So right now, we've tested the brew unit motor and the pump, and it seems like everything's working great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to close the valve again, and now we're going to go up here. And I believe at 12 o'clock, you know, this was the putting the brew unit back to home. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to hit this. I think this is our grinder, I believe. I could be wrong, though. Oh, actually, no, I was wrong. I was wrong. This mm. is actually your heating element for your oh. boiler. That's what this okay. is testing. And, you know, it's actually really hard to know if it's actually working or not unless you hold this down for a while. So currently my heating element is actually, it's, it's getting voltage and it's heating up the water in the boiler. So what you can do now is after you hold this down for about 15, 20 seconds, then go back to your pump, open up your water and make sure the water that's coming out is very, very hot. I see. Okay. So when I'm in the 12 o'clock and I press the button on the right, that's dealing with my brew group. Exactly. 12 o'clock and the coffee button, I'm dealing with my heating element. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. You know, and just for fun, let's do it. I'm going to go back here to the pump you know, because I was just holding down the heating element that whole time. Mm -hmm. Go back here. And as you can see, it's quite hot. Mm -hmm. You know, so we, we know that's working. And it's not going to be at full temp because I wasn't, you know, it takes longer to heat up. So to test that, you could be like, my coffee is too cold, et cetera, et cetera. You could um, measure it, do that, yep. measure it again, make exactly. sure that it's actually, you know, exactly cooking it up. Yeah, you probably want to hold that down, I'd say, for a good minute, actually. Okay. Just so the heating element's on for that long and heating the water. Okay, and then what if I'm over on the far left? Now we'll go to the far left, and I believe this is, let me close this again. I believe this is where the grinder is. Okay, so there's our solenoid valve. Oh, okay. So we know that's working. So, you know, that's just, that's something that's, the solenoid valve is just a electrical component mm -hmm. that controls the water path, either going through or shut. Okay. And when I'm doing this, it's telling me that that's working. That's it opening and closing when we hear that clicking. Okay. And now finally we can get to the infamous grinder. And there it is. And it's the same thing with this. Those are our revolutions of the burrs. Well, actually... Those are the revolutions of the gears that control the burrs. Okay. I'm going to do it one more time. You, know, you can see that it's getting that signal just fine. And then the grinder itself is working just great. But even in test mode, it won't... It's, it's just the, the grinder itself, it can be, you know... They want to make sure everyone's being safe there. I see. Okay, so they still won't let you get your paws down in there. Exactly. Exactly. Meow. But that's... Uh, that's test mode on the Odeo Juro. You can control those six things, and like I said, you can get kind of creative with it. Um, you know, let's say you have a machine that doesn't have, uh, it heats up and then rinses the brew unit. Mm -hmm. The Vienna is a good example of that. One thing I've, I've kind of told a lot of people to trick the Vienna is put your, put your machine, heat it up, and then you can put it into test mode and then rinse the brew unit yourself. Mm. You can put it into work position and then do it that way. Got it. I see. So you, so basically, this is just a great diagnostic. What is actually maybe wrong with my machine? Do exactly. I need to ha take it in somewhere, get it looked at? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. You know, cool. you could figure out what the exact actual problem is and then see if it's something that you yourself can fix or if it's something that's going to be needed to take into a service center. Cool. All right. Test mode on the Odea series of Machines by Seiko and Brandon. That's right. Thanks, B. No problem.